married and you realize that see ni mtu amekosa or anything it's just they feel like i apana at right now no let me just get get married when i'm old so that to sumbuane kidogo and they probably we just get out of this world and all that kids or others from such kind of families go through a lot to actually identify themselves to actually realize this how life should look you know let me give you a very good example probably i have grown up uh, i've grown up in the slums like nime grew up dandora so i will tell you like for sure for sure when i actually came to town for the first time i was impressed for real for real this is how it feels like when 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 kids or alas from these families go to families that are having peace one on get kidogo dad is not slapping mom kidogo you guys are having fun and eating together and um, you realize that these children are impressed and what they're like so this is how actually a family looks like and yeah we're going to talk about the effects of uh, dysfunctional families on alas when they grow up or let's just talk about kids or alas when they grow up so first of all is when when children or adults come from these dysfunctional families we say you cannot give what you don't have we cannot um we cannot we, you cannot pour from an empty cup so if you do not know what love looks like you will not, you are not likely to fall in love in the right way you understand you're, you're not likely to be to be to be in a good relationship these kids or adults are not ready to get into any relationship with people they feel like just because this one relationship with my parents didn't work out i'm afraid that if i join if i get myself into any other relationship it's not going to work out so first we say that they just don't know how to express love they don't know what happiness looks like they don't know what sitting at the table every single morning with my mom and dad and my other siblings taking on my school work and all that is so they're not likely to give out because how are you and that's why you meet broken people out here you're struggling to actually make to make to make them fall in love with you but it's a whole struggle you understand not unless this person actually heals from their trauma and their post uh, ptsds and all that they cannot actually give what love is you understand sometimes you find people broken all the time they're crying they are they, are, they, are, they have so much going on in their lives it's because of the beatings they used to have when they are growing up their dad was just coming um drunk and our gonga and our waiter anawaambia mna kama mama yenu and these kids remember all that when they are growing up and they are broken and they are they have nothing to offer to the society you understand somebody is very smart but they cannot do well in school you understand that's at uh, the third point students or kids from these families unapata a kid is very smart and the teacher knows uyo mtoto is really good in school but but i don't know what is going on he wasn't performing this way till this and this happened maybe 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 your parents divorced and it was a very bad divorce or a bad separation probably when you were in your high school and ukiwa for one from two you're really good in school and from three from four kidogo meanza you're not performing well and your teachers are struggling to understand what is really happening till probably you tell them oh, God, oh let me tell you this is what and this is what happened like my parents separated and it wasn't easy either for me or my siblings and i'm really struggling to actually accept that so not unless this kid is thought on is is taken for counseling and 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 he realizes that he's not in control of his family rather he can make his life better there's nothing much this kid can become because on a struggle to actually concentrate in school so dysfunctional families affect children in school and sometimes when I, and sometimes it, it it even affects children to a point that children cannot even make jokes about families you understand you cannot even make a joke about your dad or anything i remember I was, when i was i was just katoto or something um there's this story which we used to be given in in, in our church like there's this there's this kid who 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 was told by the teacher to actually draw to actually draw uh, their family you know when you're in those preschool you told chora familia yako your mom your dad you your brother your sister all and all that so na pata the kid is drawing the mom but he's not drawing the dad is like See, you have a father where is your father my father is never there you get like the, the dad is, the, the the kid is saying my dad is never there so it's just these kids actually traumatized it's just that we cannot tell them 
as in you cannot know how probably to help them all throughout all that but dysfunctional families really affect children really affect the alerts that come out of those families um another thing is um the children just who miss out on everything like what could do you know those kids who are just there they're in school it's okay you never see them do anything wrong they won't do anything good they'll just be there so that's another effect of our dysfunctional family kids what could do they, they they have totally nothing going on in their lives and that's the worst part because you never know what this kid is thinking you never know what this child is feeling you never know if he's happy or sad or whatever he is feeling like and it really affects children because that's the worst mistake you know that kid really the mind is running yes but probably you won't you won't see it from the outside so it really it really puts kids to a point in your work or two you understand very calm somebody probably was so happy and he was doing so much in school but one minute the kid is just on a straight line so it actually affect kids and all that's growing out from those families. Another thing is children just become, uh, they lack empathy. Because they don't know what love is. He doesn't know, not mapenzi, mapenzi. He doesn't know what being loved is, what, being appreciated, being put at the forefront and all that. So he lacks empathy. At all the time, probably even people will be having issues going on. But he has only come and big deal. Because he has seen even worse things than those. You understand? Kids growing out of dysfunctional families are broken, are, 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 are actually struggling to live a normal life. Just probably we can't tell it. And I say every single day, very, this is very, uh, this is a very important point I say that every single day, you see those people you meet in the bus when you're going home, you meet in the train when you're going wherever. People have so many things going on in their head, in their body and souls, and sometimes you're not even able to actually um, break it down. But if you ever meet somebody, just be kind to them. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they have gone through. And yeah, just be good to them. So children from dysfunctional families also are likely to be afraid of talking. Our taki could express what they're feeling. They, they just, they just, they're just there. Yeah. Oh, they're so silent and probably they feel like uh for example if 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 your mom is always a busy you meaning she will never give you time to actually express how you feel and that's the worst part because this kid becomes so silent and we don't as you get they, they now the wounds are inside so this kid will never be able to talk about how she feels or how he or she feels he how he feels that is and um Kids from dysfunctional families are likely to be used to conflict. Yeah. So, work on like, things are bad, yes, but I have to always, um, what do you say, I have to pay back at all times. And sometimes you find people who are chaotic, people, people are just, you know, let me tell you something. People go through so much uh, to a point, how at always explain in any buyer, you get, Uko like, are you even normal? You understand? Somebody is just so chaotic. People have anger issues. You understand? Dysfunctional families, as I have said, the family is the smallest basic unit. This is where we, we, we mold our kids. This is where we mold our families. This is where we mold the elders that we see out here. So if this kid is out, is in the family, all the time is beatings, beatings, beatings. And I want to say this at all times to all families, all parents that Beating does not solve any problem. If you have to beat, that's okay. And we say spare the rod, spoil the child. Yes. But if it gets to a point where you have to actually sit with this child and you guys have a relationship, so some more gay. You understand? Tell this kid, if you do A, B, and C, it is wrong. And if you do it, I will punish you. And these are the consequences of actually you doing it. And how does it affect you as a kid? The things that you actually have, you get to a point and you say, it's over beating kids all the time, but do I am I really understanding why this kid is doing whatever they are doing? So if if you can at all times as a parent, just have that relationship with your child, because if if your child can never trust you as a parent, you've actually you 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 have what do we say? You have a fa you failed as a parent because you have no relationship with this child. Probably you never even know what 
it's going on uh, going uh, on on the on the child's life you understand but if this child trusts you to a point he can tell you or she, or she can tell you what's happening in school do you know i want to tell you a very a very a very important point some kids get get um get get touched in school like kuna pata ameshikwa shiko huko in their private parts maybe ameshikwa huko but anaogopa kuambia mwalimu so the most the most close person they can actually tell it's it's the mom or dad lakini sasa wewe uko nyumbani umeshaanza kumpiga unamtusi unamwambia na kaa baba yake unamwambia wewe ulitoka wapi the reason why i'm suffering and all that this kid entirely hata wewe uko na relationship na wewe as a parent so i feel like if you can actually have a relationship with your kid or even to just even if it's your niece your nephews as in one one those 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 who are just actually growing up if you can have a good relationship with them you've saved a lot you've saved a lot for these kids in the future because these children will know what love is you understand they will actually know what being being happy looks like and all without that uh, about uh, about individuals or uh, that who are, are born from dysfunctional families so Let's let's say you you've been born from a dysfunctional family you have this trauma you have healing issues you have pain anger as in you have all that in one person so what do you do to actually make your uh, to actually get yourself out so first things first i say if if you realize this is what i am going through this is this is my uh, my problem you can see a therapist you can see a counselor um you can even go to church and talk to probably your pastor and yeah just get yourself up fast and if you've been born if you've been f- born from a broken family broken family or um, dysfunctional family or divorced and separated families it doesn't mean you cannot have love or a marriage that works out so as i said ali it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter who you met when you, you who you who you met first in your life life um what matters is actually what you make out, out of yourself so whether hurt whether broken whether in pieces just pick up every single piece of your family go back and look and say is this the reason why i am the way i am because if if in the past and you felt like I I wasn't good enough because my parents made me feel like I wasn't good enough but I realize that I am a great person I'm an, I'm, I'm going to achieve great things how do I actually journey myself throughout the entire season of my life without actually living with the past and realizing the future is bright all through so it doesn't matter where you come from as I said again and again you create the way you are and probably if you can and at all times be a happy individual usiku na kaume kasirika bent at all i know we couldn't say a lot for the the entire episode but it was an amazing amazing episode i really wanted to break this episode into two but it wasn't possible because nika fupi to end yeah i hope you guys learn and uh, share with your friends and family and also if you can at all times learn to bring up your if 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 you are from a dysfunctional family and probably you're the eldest how many you you your mind is open at that particular time so help your siblings grow in the best way possible because if we actually save our children we've actually saved the society bye bye and see you in my next episode